So today's big chase is the next one up there. It's the Ryanair, and it's a grade one, of course. There were two miles and five furlongs. This one, and those horses that don't quite scale the Gold Cup trip but are not quite quick enough for the Queen Mother. And let's wait and get a list of the field. It's a pretty healthy looking size field. I think the rain started to come down there, and Blakey's Joey is at the top for Ryan Costello, who's making a bit of a comeback. So I thought Ryan had retired for the season, but it looks like he's back. Harlan Montier for David Robertson, Houston Assassin, Vinnie Gerard, Joburg Granite for Craig Allen, Luxor, Darren Thompson, Major Left, Alex Cherry, Mayday, Mayday for Craig Allen, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, Artistic Rose for David Hooley, Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson, Craig Tiara, Ryan Costello, Helter Skelter, Leon Van Rensburg, Celtic Cliche for John Morgan, Penny Bray, Craig, Craig Beckwith, Popular View, David Hooley, Verglass, Alex Cherry, Vintage Trader, Leon Van Rensburg, and Vision for Joshua Sutherland. So, 18 strong field then for the Ryanair, and away they go. And who's going to be the first to show? Looks like it could be the John Morgan Great Celtic Cliche on the inside. Who's going to take it up? Being driven up though to join him is Penny Bray for Craig Beckwith. So, they get to the first. And they're all over that one safely, with the exception of Popular View. So that would have been one of the fancied ones, I think. And Popular View for David Hooley departs the race at the very first fence. They get to the second, and Penny Bray went right through the top of it. And uh, one or two sketchy jump, jumps in the pack as well. So they have to settle themselves down. These maybe Celtic cliches just making the pace a bit hot as they get to this third. And over that one, they all go. They all got that one, that one, okay. And it's Celtic Cliche in the lead. Penny Bray recovered from that mistake. He's in second. Wide on the track. Vision third for Joshua Sutherland. With Craig Tiara down on this near side. In the purpley colours for Ryan Costello. In comes Houston Assassin. And the Overlord with Artistic Rose on the inside as well. The next of the greys is Blakey Joey. And the grey that's just about the back marker at the moment is Hilda Skelter for Leon Van Rensburg as they get to the fourth which they all get over nicely in the Joshua Sutherland pair are now moving into second and third or third and fourth to be honest because Penny Bray and Celtic Cliche oh there's another four there crashing four and that's Craig Tiara and it's gone so a short lived comeback for Ryan Costello with that one but he's still got the other one going and he's still in the race as they make their way up the straight and take the Fences in front of the stands, and Penny Bray landed him a lead from Celtic Cliche in second. Bit of a gap then to the Overlord and Vision. As they come up past the big screen, take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. Now they'll swing left handed and for a complete circuit of the track. And it's Penny Bray on the outside of the grey Celtic Cliche is in second. Then in third is the Overlord and Vision is four. V Vintage Trader is five on him. Mayday, Mayday and Houston Assassin and Artistic Rose. And then Major Left and Blankey's Joey Luxor and Joe Berg Granite with Cape Solitude after that. Harlem Montsio towards the back with Cape Solitude and Verglass and Helter Skelter on the back two but no more than 15 off the lead as they race down towards the next. And over that one they go, all safe near with that one though, but a mistake by on and Montsio has seen that one. Now the back marker as they race towards the water, and it's Penny Bray in the lead. And over that one they go, and Penny Bray from Celtic Cliche. Vintage Traders cruised into third, then the Overlord and Houston Assassin after that one. With Joburg Granite and Vision close up, they take this ditch. And all safely over that ditch, Harlan Montsier jumped in okay at the back, but Penny Bray continues to show the way by about two into this next plane one. And all safely over that as well, with Penny Bray in the lead. Celtic Cliche in second, Artistic Rose has just poked his head into third, on the inside is Vision, on the outside is the Overlord Vintage Trader and Joan Burn Granite are next, then Houston Assassin as they come to this big ditch and over that one they go, they're all safely over that one there, with Penny Bray still the leader, Penny Bray, Celtic Cliche second, Popular View, Artistic Rose is after that one as they come to the 13th and they all get over the 13th, okay with Celtic Cliche now poking its head back in front, they race downhill, they swing left handed and it's Penny Bray and Celtic Cliché. 
They've got four more fences to take, and it's Penny Bray in the lead by half a length. Celtic Cliche second. Artistic Rose in third. Mistake by the grey. Has seen that one now shuffle right down the pack, and it's going to take a miracle to get that one back into it, I think. But it's Penny Bray in the lead. Penny Bray's in the, in the lead then. Bomb Artistic Rose in second. Cape Solitude's come through into third. Then comes Houston Assassin. Visions after that over the third. Last they go. And suddenly now Penny Bray's being charged by Artistic Rose. Here come the Craig Allen pair. Joe Berg, Granite, and Mayday, Mayday. Cape Solitude is there as well but it's still Penny Bray in the lead with two to jump Penny Bray leads by about a length to Mayday Mayday and Joe Berg Grant they're swinging there left handed towards home and it's Mayday Mayday who suddenly hit the lead. Mayday Mayday suddenly gone two clear of Joe Berg Granite in second. Cape Solitude in third. Artistic Rose is fourth over the second. Last slow jump by the leader. And now Joe Berg Granite comes to challenge. But Mayday Mayday is starting to get going again on the flat. They've got one to jump. Over the final fence they go. And the best jump was by Artistic Rose on the inside. It's Artistic Rose who's going on from Vision who's moved into second. Artistic Rose is pulling away. And David who he may have had a fodder at the first but he doesn't care anymore more because he's won this one by a good six lengths and racing up towards an artistic rose is the winner vision is second celtic cliche well really well are going to be third then mayday mayday all the way back to blankies joey and it must have been disappointing for david hooley to see one of his fancied runners topple out at the first fence but come the end of the race not really that much concern about that anymore as artistic rose takes it an artistic Rose is the winner for David Hooley. Vision second for jo Joshua Sutherland. Celtic cliche for John Morgan. I wonder what would have happened if they hadn't made that really bad mistake because he ran on really well again to be third in the fourth place finisher. I think was Mayday Mayday for Craig Allen who looked like he was going to win jump in the second last. Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson. Stuck on well to be fifth. And one or two of these again. Pretty disappointing. Leon must be disappointed with this pair. Helter Skelter and Vintage Trader never got a look in. Holland Montsier, another disappointment. And Penny Beret dropped right out of it. Looks all. Barely got a mention in the race at all. So the right there goes to David Hooley and Artistic Rose.